For this video tutorial, you have in front of you a reflected ceiling plan that has been started. For your reflected ceiling plans, it is important to know that when you have your plan view, you want to show all of your room doors as closed fixtures. This means that you will no longer have those open archways. You will have simply a line that represents a closed door. Also, when you have your reflective ceiling plans, it is important to hatch all of your interior and exterior walls. And sometimes you may run across plans where you have windows shown, and in some reflective ceiling plans, windows are not shown. Here you have in front of you your legend, that has all of your mounted ceiling fixtures and switches. So we are showing everything that will be touching the ceiling, also your switches and your connection of your switches to your lighting elements. I wanna demonstrate how to draw another lighting fixture and that will be a ceiling fan. I'm going to go ahead and use my circle tool and begin to draw myself a small circle. And also I'm going to zoom in here and draw a larger circle around that smaller one. I'm going to select everything and be sure that I am on the current layer of my power symbols. And then let's go ahead and move the larger circle out. Turn on my ortho. I do have my on snaps turned on so I can go from each quadrant of the circles. To draw a line in and notice that I went back to the layer. So I want to make sure that in my layer drop down, my current layer is my power symbols. From here, using the trim tool, let's take off what we don't need and draw myself another circle and line to represent the center of my ceiling mounted ceiling fan here. I'm going to use my polar array tool. To complete my fan. So now I have my fan symbol drawn in my view. If at any reason this fan needed to be scaled down, I can select it and type in the word scale. Specify the base point, which will be off the center and rescale this fan for sizing in my view. Simply by copying my ceiling fan, I can copy it and bring it over here to my legend. And add this text to it by calling it my ceiling fan. At this point, now we are ready to use my next layer, which is the layer to show the connection from the switches to the lighting fixture. I'm going to use the three point arc and just simply select the end point of my first switch. Click out and then just come around 
to where oh, I dropped that too soon to where I want to show it connects to the ceiling fan. And this is how you will add your switches to your fixture and that connection. And you can simply do this for all of your lighting elements. Again, it is good to have quadrants turned on and endpoints as well so that you can grab every corner or in that is needed to connect your lighting elements. Once you have everything on your layer set up, you have all of your lighting elements and you begin to place them and you connect everything, you will have a completed reflective ceiling plan. And of course, you can pull everything over to your layout tab, create yourself a viewport, put it to scale, and then print it or save it and send it off to wherever it needs to go.